video redaction uh, just real quick it, there's a plugin that needs to be installed on each control center application in order for this to work once that plugin is installed on your desktop you'll see an icon for video redaction which gives you the ability to utilize this plugin outside of the latitude environment and once you log into control center you'll notice that there's a new tab down here in the lower left hand corner of the screen which gives you the ability to utilize the video redaction automatically when exporting a video clip or of course it can be done manually let's go through the steps on how this is done the first thing we're going to need to do is procure some video from the system so I've already set up a clip that I've locked so it's easy to find Now that we have a clip, let's go ahead and let's export this clip. But before we do, we'll go back to the re video redaction tab and check the auto start on export box. Now we can go back and start the export. A couple of things to keep in mind. You will need to export this in MP4 format as our DVT proprietary export format can't be utilized with video redaction. So if you do need to make that change, before you do the export, make sure you go into the advanced settings and double check to make sure that we're set to MP4. We'll give this clip a quick name and we can start the export process. So what you'll see is as soon as the export process has been completed, the video redaction application will start up and will load on top of control center. Now that we have our clip loaded up, let's take a couple of minutes and look at the tools that we have to redact certain articles from the image. The first option that we have is the little plus button up here at the top right hand corner. This gives you the ability to do what's called a manual reduction of either an object or a person, which means if there were a license plate in the image or a sign or something that you didn't want to be visible, after you produce this video and send it to the to the recipient you can remove that from the image we have an auto face redaction option we also have an auto body redaction option there is also the ability to merge redaction paths so if an individual walks back and forth in and out of the view of the camera a few times it would be seen as multiple faces and you can merge those together so that there's only one redaction for uh, one what I should say one uh, setting that will redact that same person so it just makes the job a little bit easier there's a setting option where you can go in and, and minorly adjust some of the settings that pertain to the redaction process there's also a shortcut keyboard and then of course the little save disk down here at the bottom which starts the redaction process so what we're going to do is just a very simple basic redaction of a face which is probably going to be the most commonly used scenario for this tool we can click on the auto face redaction and the system will open up a secondary dialog box which will show the start time and the end time which essentially mirrors the amount of time that's over here on the clip and it does give you the ability to you know to minimize that or or exclude a, a few extra seconds of it if you need to once you're satisfied with the uh, start time and the end time you can click on the redact button and the system will go out and begin populating utilizing information to find those faces within the image so that we can decide whether or not they should be redacted. Okay, so now the system has returned some data that we can see on the right hand side of the screen. You can see that there are six different listings of faces, but what I can tell you is that there was definitely not six different people that walked through this area. So what we can do is just quickly take a look. Here's face number one, two, three, as we click through, four, five, four. and six. So with these six images, we can see it's the same person, and we can do something that's very simple here. We can do what's called a merge redaction path. So we can go through and say these individual faces are actually the same face. So when we merge all of these together, it makes our life a little bit easier. So we merge this, and now it's actually just one image up here at the top. So now that we have that single face that needs to be redacted, we can simply just go right down here to the bottom 
click on the redact button and this with the quick click of the yes button will start the redaction process of the video. Once the redaction process is done we can go back and confirm that all the required information has been redacted from the video before we send it out to the requester. Okay, so now let's bring one of the, redact the video we just redacted back into the system so we can take a look at it and make sure that it's set up. And of course, you can always go to the folder where the redacted video is stored and you can view it from that location or you can simply select the folder and bring it back into the system. For this particular webinar, I'm just going to quickly move some of this stuff out of the way and we'll go over to our exported folder so you can see how this is positioned. And you can see that we have a new folder for redacted videos. We can go in and it's just a standard MP4 video so it'll just play back natively in whatever player that you have in your system by simply double clicking. And now we can watch that video clip with the redacted information.